What's going on guys? It's your boy Aaron. Um coming back with a new video. So this is my new brand new Alienware Aurora R11 with a Core i9, liquid cooled, thousand watt PSU, and eight gigabytes of HyperX flare memory and 256 gigabyte M.2 PCI whatever generation. Doesn't matter. Um it's a really good bit of kit. Um I'm really happy with what I've Purchase is the refurbished unit, which I'm really happy about. Uh, because this one back, let's say, bowing back to the previous m model, this guy would have cost you roughly about three thousand pounds for this configuration. So I've saved myself about about a thousand pounds, roughly. And I've cut my finger on the Dell desktop. That's awesome, Dell. Take notes. Don't put sharp things on your PC, Dell. Um, here is my old beast, my core thread ripper. Um, still works, still going strong. Um, but I'm still thinking of something what I'm going to do with my thread ripper because I still want to keep it. Um, leave in the comments down below, guys, if I should upgrade my thread ripper's case. Um, because I'm going to have Christmas money, so, you know, um, so leave in the comments down below if I should upgrade my Threadripper's case, um, because I moved the RTX out of my Threadripper into this, so it's now got a better graphics card in there. The one that came out of this one is a, t a 1060 graphics, went into there, just went down the grade a little bit. The RAM's not in there at the moment, because the RAM doesn't work um i'm still trying to figure out why um the ram is here so this is the ram modules i hate these ram modules with a passion absolutely do corsair memory is probably the worst memory you could probably get you can see the back you'd think this stick of ram would be recognized in that pc well you'd be actually wrong because this fret ripper Cannot even recognise all dims in the slot. So, I don't know what's going on with it. But it, it just can't recognise it. For some reason, it just can't recognise 16 gigs. So, that's the issue there. Um, but back to my review on my Alienware. So, my Alienware, um, I bought it mainly because my nan just died a couple, um, a couple of months ago. Well, not even months ago, but this year she died, so... Going into the end of 2020, I just thought, I need something to remember her by, and this is what's going to last me for a while. Um, so yeah, I bought an Alienware, guys. I know that sounds shocking, but coming from a custom PC to a pre-built, life is a lot easier when you've got a, a pre-built. Just drinking something. Um, mainly because... If you're somebody that doesn't know how to build a PC, this is the way to go. If you know your knowledge and you know what you're doing with PCs, custom build. But there is one downside with custom build and pre-builds. So let's start off with custom build. Let's think of all the worst things that you could get with a custom PC. There's no warranty. On any component, so it could just all die and you've just wasted a... Let's just say you built a thousand pound PC and it, all the parts died. Then you have to buy all over again. Um, that's that. Um, and with custom built, people don't really want them. If you built them and try and sell it. So I'm trying to get rid of that, um, mainly. Um, but nobody wants it, so... Yeah. Um, let's go now to pre built Pre-built, it's pre-ready, ready to go, power, the, power on the bugger, and it just goes and works. You have technical support 24-7 with Dell, um, and you can extend your warranty if you want to, you don't have to. There's loads of stuff you can get, it's just easier, less hassle, um, just lots of stuff is just better with it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there but yeah my review really 
is not that good, I know, but I'm really happy with what it is of a PC and I'm going to now fire it up and show you what it looks like. So, well that's good isn't it? Meant to be working. <laughs> just joking guys, just joking, I just haven't turned the power on. Here we go guys. So it's just powering up. Got my Series X there, my Trash Can Mac Pro. But yeah, that is the colour theme, purple. You know guys, I'm a purple fan. So I'm gonna type a pass within. Ready? Watch. Three, two, one, and you'll see it load. Instant. Instantaneous. That one took about two minutes to lo load onto Windows even boot up and this was just like done so i'm really happy with alienware's well done dell for your reconditioned desktops and i'm going to show you guys quickly the um what i've got in this pc so if you guys are interested so on my pc you can see i don't know if you can see it there is what i've got inside this custom machine, not custom, but you know, pre-built. RAM at the moment is okay, single channel at the moment, but it will be upgraded quite soon. I've got some RAM coming. Graphics, you got there. So yeah, it's all honky dory, you know what I mean? Like it's the best you can get. It can play the games I want. And if you're wondering where can you get this cool Alienware has logo-y Windows thing because it looks quite cool and dope. Just go on Google, search it, that's what I did. Just thought, screw it. And now I'm going to go with Alienware Command Center. Servicing required. Running service. Right, so Alienware are just servicing my PC from their end because they've just got my email. They're yesterday so it's down there as a notification i still need to sort this sodding computer because this this is the only one thing is with a core i9 in there you think it'd be quite quick um it's just some some apps take a while to load um but overall it's what it is i guess shutting things I just don't use, you know. Did not even load? That's stupid, isn't it? So, this is the new Alienware Command Center. If people don't know about it, this is the new one. Um, I'm not sure about it, to be honest. I don't really like it compared to my old one I had. So, you've got your home page here. Your libraries, if you want to, you can launch your games from here. You don't have to. Your Alienware FX. So, you can change your lighting. You go here, edit, you can change your lighting and stuff. I choose not to. Um, I've already changed the lighting, so it's staying, it's purple. And when you change the lighting, uh, the purple comes over to the same thing. So you have all the purple over here. You got your temperatures, so this is CPU usage, frequency roughly. And then you got your temperatures as well here. You can literally do everything in this center. You can do one, one clock overclock, two clock overclock. And then you've got your temperatures for the fans and what they're spinning at. So at the moment, my PC's running at 27 degrees both ways, which is quite nice. Um, funny thing is, I don't know why this one's lower than this one. It's a bit weird, but... And that's why it sounds like a woman. I don't know if you can hear it. But there's a little whirring noise, but it's not overly annoying. You can change your power, quick power settings if you want to. You can change your audio if there's a specific game you like playing. You can change it in here. A bit more bass, a bit more volume. You've got shooting games if you wanted to change it up. Don't know what this is. Audio, recon, profiles. Never use them, but 
that is the overall with the Alienware. Um, but overall, it's really good. Um, I'm happy with what I've got for it. Um, you can play all my games. I'm pl I've got on Steam. I've got. Wait, just quickly load a minute. Just give it a minute. I don't know why it's been quite slow again. Come on. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, didn't reply. So I've got Call of Duty World War Two, uh, CS:GO at the moment, and Batman Lego, the original Batman Lego. So, yeah, those are the games I'm playing currently on my piece, my new PC. Um, on Game Center, which is basically World of Warships. I've got World of Warships, so. Yeah, I'm only tier one on that now uh, because my old account got demonetized for some stupid reason. But overall, that is my Alienware review. I hope you guys enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. Comment and subscribe, you know. Comment and subscribe. Um, but yeah, I hope you like it um, as much as I do. Um, there's one caveat to this PC is the door on it is a pain in the ass compared to pre-built. Well, pre-built's a pain in the ass to put the doors on. Custom are not so bad because on the custom ones, it's got this little latch down the back, you wouldn't know, and then you just go, done, it shuts. That one, you've got all sorts. Um, I've got my RTX card in there, so you can see that little green, you can see it, like a little RTX sort of thing, which is quite nice. Um, so, yeah, it's all good. Um, so I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys all have a good Christmas. And, yeah. Roll on 2021.